Okay, so we get to Bianca and Daniel asses, okay? So, whenever I'm giving commentary on them, we have to keep in mind that she's 23 years old and he's 31, okay? So, everything on the channel, if y'all watching this on YouTube, is alleged in my opinion and for entertainment purposes only. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you are watching this on TikTok, please Follow your girl, okay, and like the video so it can go through the algorithm. I need to get to my 10K on TikTok, okay? So, again, we have to keep in mind 2331, okay, with a 13-year-old child, okay? I thought she said he had a, a daughter or something when she was talking to her friend when love during lockup was happening, when she was still in Florida, um, when she was talking to the friend, I thought she said that he had a 13 year old daughter, but I guess now it's a 13 year old son or vice versa. It's one out of one, but she did tell us that he had a kid. She didn't say that he had been married before. So they're coming down from her, you know, after he checked the fuck out of her about um bringing up what she had done for him okay so they get past that she's saying he's triggered and all that type of stuff but they get past it and they get ready to go and see the po so you know of course everything has to be bianca's way so she's gonna be pissed and like the world is gonna fucking stop because she gets passed um if he has to stay at that half go to that halfway house at this point, Daniel wants to go to the halfway house. I think he didn't got out. He didn't got all the little stuff from her from being in jail. He didn't got out. He didn't got him a piece of ass and everything. And I think at this point, he's good on her. I think he want to take his ass to that damn halfway house. Um, because she on that bullshit. Okay, so they get to the PO office. She want to go in with them. They said she can't go in there unless her ass going to be on damn probation. She should be on probation for being the stupidest she is, but she only 23. So we'll give her a pass on that. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't like her. Um, She seems a little more mentally delayed than a 23 year old even. Okay, so. Um, she waiting to see if, you know, he can go to the, you know, um, to stay with her or if he have to go to the halfway house. So he comes out with the probation officer. She gets out of the car, which is okay. I'm like, okay, she acting like a little adultish. Um, get out of the car and meet the person and stuff like that. And they, um, they, you know, talk to him or whatever and, you know, he says that it's okay for him to go ahead and stay with her. So, he looking like, fuck. So, they get in the car. They drive, I guess, back to the house or whatever. And <laughs> she talking about she got baby fever. He like, shit, well, you need some fucking Tylenol or birth control because what, what's gonna, what is it going to take to get that fever away? But she like, well, you like in me twice. Like he released in her twice or whatever. So he like, yeah, but we talked about that during when I was locked up that, you know, that that was going to happen. And then, you know, you were going to do plan B. Um, What was plan fucking A? Okay, because plan A. Seemed like she should have had her dumb ass on birth control before you got the fuck out. So that everything would have been in order in case you want to do the releasing and, and shooting up the fucking club. When you got your ass out. And then all could have been well. And you wouldn't have to worry about her ass getting pregnant. But it seemed like Bianca the type that would probably try to lie and say that she was on it just so he could be shooting the club up and act like she got pregnant while she was on birth control, okay? Because it was really like they were having two different conversations. He was like, you said you was going to do the plan B. Like, that's irresponsible for you not to try to do that now when, you know, 
we talked about this and this is an ad. Danielle, she's fucking 23. If you don't want no motherfucking kids, you better learn how to pull the fuck out. But, you know, the pre-stuff can get you in trouble too. Or you need to put on a damn rubber. Okay? All the things in your 31 years that you should know about contraceptives. Okay? And how to prevent a damn pregnancy. So... He's saying all this and he like looked like he sweat bullets because she is not talking the same language as him. She's like, oh, the baby's going to be so pretty. And, this, and he's like, yeah, so the plan B, you need to take, um, you stopping by the, the convenience store to get the plan B. Um, we talked about that. Uh, remember said conversation on, you know, November 15th. Um, 2023, remember when we were talking and you had said you was going to, um, and she was like, I'm trying to think if I want a boy or girl. Well, maybe we should have twins. And like, he said it and he is so much taller than her. So they said it like outside and he was like, yeah, we, we bought the head to the pharmacy to get that plan B. And she was like, yeah. I just can't wait to have a baby. I said, these motherfuckers right here. Danielle, you fucking be responsible because you can't trust her as you for one. You don't remember. You don't know her like that. You can't even trust her as to keep liquor and shit out the motherfucking house. Let alone with, with, with the, 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 the having a seat with you. When she completely a damn airhead, then she want to talk about some, another manipulation tactic. I wonder why he ain't picked this shit up. Yeah, you know, I told you that I had lost the baby with my ex. And ever since then, I wanted a child. Bianca, it don't have to happen now. Okay? Because God don't make no mistakes. He knew you had a little bit more growing to do. And I don't think he wanted to put a child in that situation because Bianca, something is terribly immature or seriously damn mentally wrong with you. That daddy was right when he asked that question if you was mentally stable because what you doing and all this shit is not giving mentally stable. And I'm telling y'all, it's a fucking reason why her family and shit like that is not on this show. She had a couple, two friends on this show, and both of them was like, this bitch is off her shit. But no family, no mama, no daddy, she couldn't even mention that she had a motherfucking family. Okay? You know how people have kids on, on reality TV shows, but the, the other parent don't approve for them to be on TV, so they can't even have the kids on TV, so they don't even can't mention the other motherfucking kids or nothing. While they on that show, that's what must have been the agreement her parents and shit like that and her family members must have had with her because this motherfucker is off her shit again. But Daniel, I'm going to have to blame you for this shit. 